a billion tons. All the all there will be up there at best is slime. <laughs> Just slime. <laughs> Nothing. The mystery of Super Neptunes. A new chapter in exoplanet discovery. One night, a distant star blinked just for a moment. To most people, this would mean nothing. But for astronomers, it was a sign that something massive had passed in front of it. At first, they assumed it was a gas giant, perhaps another Jupiter-like planet. But as more data came in, things didn't add up. It was too big to be Neptune, too small to be Jupiter, and behaving in ways no one had expected. This wasn't just any exoplanet. It was a super Neptune, a rare type of world that scientists once thought barely existed. But then they found another, and another. A pattern began to emerge, raising exciting new questions. Could these mysterious worlds be missing links in planetary evolution? Or are they something entirely new? Scientists are racing to uncover the truth, and what they find could reshape our understanding of planets forever. What makes these super Neptunes different? In January 2025, astronomers discovered two new super Neptunes in the TOI-6054 system. Unlike those found before, these planets stand out because of their orbits, temperatures, densities, and what they reveal about planetary evolution. One orbits closer to their star than expected. Most known super Neptunes orbit their stars at a distance, taking tens or even hundreds of days to complete a full revolution. But TOI 6054b and TOI 6054c are in extremely tight orbits, circling their star in just 7.5 and 12.5 days, respectively. This is unusual because they exist in a region called the Hot Neptune Desert, a part of space where few Neptune-sized planets have been observed. Scientists believe planets of this size either struggle to form so close to their stars or lose their atmospheres due to intense stellar radiation. 2. Among the hottest super-Neptunes ever found Most previously discovered super-Neptunes, such as HAT, P11b, and GJ436b, have temperatures ranging between 500 and 1,000 Kelvin. But TOI-6054b reaches 1,360 K, while TOI-6054c is slightly cooler at 1,144 K. To put that in perspective, TOI-6054b experiences temperatures over 1,000 degrees Celsius. TOI-6054c is still close to 900 degrees Celsius. At such extreme heat, a planet's atmosphere begins to escape into space, making it difficult for gas giants to survive. Some scientists suspect that many so-called hot Neptunes might have started as larger planets but lost their atmospheres over time leaving behind smaller rocky cores. 3. Strange density and composition. Most super-Neptunes are thought to have a mix of gas, ice, and possibly a rocky core, similar to Neptune in our own solar system. But TOI-6054b and TOI-6054c have unusually low densities, suggesting they might have a different internal structure than previously known super-Neptunes. Are they made mostly of hydrogen and helium? Do they contain large amounts of water vapor and other exotic materials? Could they have formed much farther out in their solar system and migrated inward? These are the questions scientists are now trying to answer. How were these planets discovered? The discovery of TOI-6054b and TOI-6054c was made using a combination of space and ground-based telescopes. Two key methods were used. One, the transit method. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Tests first detected these planets by watching for small, periodic dips in their star's brightness. When a planet passes in front of its star, it blocks some of the light, causing a tiny but measurable dimming. If the same dip happens at regular intervals, it indicates a planet in orbit. The depth of the dip reveals the planet's size, and the time between dips reveals its orbital period. Tests observed multiple transit events around TOI-6054, showing that two planets were regularly passing in front of their star. The dips were too deep to be caused by small, rocky planets like Earth, indicating these objects were large enough to be super-Neptunes. 2. The Radial Velocity Method 
To confirm these were real planets, and not just background noise, astronomers used ground-based telescopes to measure the planet's gravitational pull on their star. A planet's gravity causes its star to wobble slightly as it moves. This wobble shifts the star's light toward red or blue wavelengths, the Doppler effect. By measuring this shift, scientists can calculate the planet's mass. Combining the transit and radial velocity data, researchers determine the planet's sizes, masses, and densities, giving them their super-Neptune classification. Are super-Neptunes evolving into something else? What if these planets aren't just failed gas giants, but planets caught in the middle of a transformation? Some scientists suspect that super-Neptunes could be evolving into entirely new types of worlds. If they are slowly losing their atmospheres due to extreme heat, they could be on their way to becoming super-Earths, rocky planets several times the size of Earth but with much thinner atmospheres. Why do we keep finding super-versions of planets? Many exoplanets are labeled as super-Earths, super-Neptunes, or hot Jupiters because they seem like bigger versions of planets in our solar system. But why? The reason is largely how we detect them. The transit method works best for larger planets, since they block more light. The radial velocity method is more sensitive to more massive planets, as they exert stronger gravitational tugs on their stars. Because of this, our technology is naturally biased toward detecting bigger planets. It doesn't mean smaller planets like Mercury or Mars-sized exoplanets don't exist. They're just harder to find. How will we learn more? The study of super-Neptunes is just beginning, and future telescopes will play a crucial role in uncovering their secrets. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. JWST has revolutionized exoplanet research by studying atmospheres in infrared light. When a super-Neptune passes in front of its star, JWST can analyze how the star's light filters through the planet's atmosphere. This technique, transmission spectroscopy, can detect water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and other molecules. JWST can also measure temperature and heat distribution, helping scientists understand how these planets react to their extreme environments. Upcoming missions. Other powerful telescopes will soon join the search. The extremely large telescope Yelty, operational in 2028, will directly image exoplanets, revealing more details about their atmospheres. The European Space Agency's aerial mission, launching in 2029, will study the atmospheres of hundreds of exoplanets, including super-Neptunes. What's next? JWST is already producing groundbreaking data about exoplanets, with major discoveries expected in the next five years. By the early 2030s, missions like Ariel and Yelty will provide a complete picture of how super-Neptunes form, evolve, and interact with their environments. These discoveries will not only reshape our understanding of planetary systems, but also help us understand what makes our own solar system unique. Super-Neptunes challenge us to look beyond Earth and our neighboring planets. They remind us that the universe is far more diverse and surprising than we ever imagined. And with each new discovery, we take one step closer to understanding our place in the cosmos.